some tools and supplies that you will need, a universal supply line and a power cord. Cut around the bottom of the carton with a box cutter on the dotted line to avoid damaging the dishwasher. While unpacking your dishwasher, you should check for any damage from shipping, such as dents or scratches. Remove the kick plate so you can access the electrical junction box. Most dishwashers do not come with a power cord. You'll have to purchase this separately. When you insert the power cord, make sure that it snaps securely into place. Connect the wires from the dishwasher motor to the power cord. Green to the green, white to the white, and the black to the black. Twist the wires together and attach wire nut, making sure that you get the wire nut on tight and give it a slight pull to make sure that it does not come off. Reattach the cover to the junction box. Make sure that none of the wires get pinched underneath the cover. Most dishwashers do not come with a water supply line. You will need to purchase a universal water supply kit. In this kit, you will find a 90 degree elbow that will match the inlet to your dishwasher. Be sure to wrap the elbow with Teflon tape. On some models, you will also need to attach the drain hose to the dishwasher pump. Be sure to get the elbow tight and that it is facing the rear of the dishwasher. Attach the water supply line. Do not over tighten this line as it is a compression fitting with a rubber gasket. You may need to cut a hole in the side of the cabinet for the water supply line the drain hose and the power cord. Carefully slide the dishwasher into the opening, being careful not to damage the insulation. There should be one quarter to half inch from the top of the dishwasher door to the bottom of the cabinet. Adjust the feet on the bottom of the dishwasher for the proper height making sure that the dishwasher is level in the opening.
attach the dishwasher to the bottom of the countertop with the supplied screws. Attach the water supply line to the hot water shutoff valve. If you are connecting to a disposal unit, make sure that the knockout plug has been removed before connecting the drain line. You will need to supply a hose clamp on the end of the drain line to attach to the disposal. For proper operation, the drain hose must loop up to the bottom of the counter and be attached, or the drain hose needs to connect to an aerator. You are now ready to plug in the dishwasher and turn on the hot water. You can now run the dishwasher through a cycle and remove all of the plastic coatings. Check underneath the dishwasher for any possible leaks. Also check under the sink and make sure all your connections are good and tight and are not leaking and that the dishwasher is draining properly. Reattach the kick plate and your dishwasher will be ready for use.